Hey everyone, welcome back to the IT Edge Network. If you've been following my home lab series, you already have a Windows Virtual Server running, a Windows 11 Virtual Machine joined to the domain, and a few users and groups set up in Active Directory. Perfect. This series is sort of a follow-up. It is all about how Active Directory is actually used in a corporate environment and how you, as a help desk or a junior IT professional, would work with it on a regular basis. This playlist is designed for beginners who want real job-ready Active Directory skills. You don't need to be an expert or a system administrator. I'm not going to cover advanced server roles or complex networking. Instead, you'll learn practical Active Directory tasks you'll actually do in a help desk or IT support role, like managing users, groups, folder permissions, group policy basics, and troubleshooting common issues. If you haven't watched my home lab setup series yet, I highly recommend that you pause and do that first. This series builds on top of that lab. Check out the link at the bottom. So why focus on Active Directory? Well, Active Directory is at the heart of nearly every corporate IT environment. Companies use it to control user accounts, computers, permissions, and access to resources like share folders. Most IT beginner roles involve help desk tasks related to Active Directory, password resets, access requests, folder permissions, and simple troubleshooting. Knowing Active Directory skill is what separates someone who's clicking through Windows from someone who's actually ready to work in IT. This is what the employers are actually looking for. They need people with hands-on experience, and this is what you you're going to learn in this series. So here's what we'll cover in this series. How Active Directory is structured in real companies, including OUs, users, and groups. How to handle real help desk tickets for users. How groups tie into share folders and permissions. Basic group policy tasks that you can perform safely. And in the end, as a bonus, we'll finish the series with real interview questions and answers so you can confidently explain your Active Directory experience to your potential employer. So before we dive in, a quick recap of your lab setup. You have a Windows Server 2022 virtual machine promoted as a domain controller. Active Directory is running. You have already created a few users and groups and your Windows 11 virtual machine is joined to the domain. That's all you need. And again, if you haven't done that already, the link is at the bottom. Please go back and do it before you watch this series. This one directly ties into the previous one. That's all you need. We're not going to do any new promotions or advanced server roles in this series. We're going to focus on using Active Directory like you would in a real company. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at how Active Directory is actually used in corporate environment, including OU structure and who does does what in help desk or IT team. Make sure your lab is ready so we can jump right in. Stay tuned and fasten your seat belts because there's a lot more coming your way. Are you ready to learn? I hope so. Until next time, take yourselves and others and I'll see you shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.